ASTQB wants you to be prepared for the ISTQB Foundation Level Exam. You can download all of the ISTQB Foundation study resources for free on our website. You can also listen to all of the ASTQB Foundation Level Exam prep videos of the must-know items before you take your exam. A number of testing principles have been suggested and offer general guidelines common for all testing. They are known as the seven testing principles. One, testing shows the presence of defects, not their absence. Testing can show that defects are present, but cannot prove that there are no defects. Testing reduces the probability of undiscovered defects remaining in the software. But even if no defects are found, Testing is not a proof of correctness. Two, exhaustive testing is impossible. Testing everything, all combination of inputs and preconditions, is not feasible except for trivial cases. Rather than attempting to test exhaustively, risk analysis, test techniques, and priorities should be used to focus test efforts. Three, Early testing saves time and money. To find defects early, both static and dynamic test activities should be started as early as possible in the software development lifecycle. Early testing is sometimes referred to as shift left. Testing early in the software development lifecycle helps reduce or eliminate costly charges. Four, defects cluster together. A small number of modules usually contain most of the defects discovered during pre-release testing or is responsible for most of the operational failures. Predicted defect clusters and the actual observed defect clusters in the test or operation are an important input into a risk analysis used to focus the test effort. Five, beware of the pesticide paradox. If the same tests are repeated over and over again, eventually these tests no longer find any new defects. To detect new defects, existing tests and test data may need changing, and new tests may need to be written. Tests are no longer effective at finding defects, just as pesticides are no longer effective at killing insects after a while. In some cases, such as automated regression testing, the pesticide paradox has a beneficial outcome, which is the relatively low number of regression defects. Six, testing is context dependent. Testing is done differently in different contexts. For example, safety critical industrial control software is tested differently from an e-commerce mobile app. As another example, testing in an agile project is done differently than testing in a sequential software development lifecycle project. Seven, absence of errors is a fallacy. Some organizations expect that testers can run all possible tests and find all possible defects, but principles two and one respectively tell us that this is impossible. Furthermore, it is a fallacy, i.e. a mistaken belief to expect that just finding and fixing a large number of defects will ensure the success of a system. For example, thoroughly testing all specified requirements and fixing all defects found could still produce a system that is difficult to use, that does not fulfill the user's needs and expectations, or that is inferior compared to other competing systems. If you know these and understand them, you will be one step closer to success with your ISTQB Foundation Level Exam from ASTQB. Download the free ISTQB Foundation Level Exam preparation materials today, www.astqb.org.